I'm just having one of those days. I'm not adulting very well today at all. You're gonna whip out your baking pan. Not your baking pan. You're gonna whip out your muffin tin. They're muffin pins. Muffin pins. Not muffin pans. Muffin pins. ingredients to go to. The ingredients. Let's do this again. In the heathen vegan's kitchen of magical wonders. Thanks for tuning in. That's appreciated. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Why are you guys even listening to me? I don't know. Hi guys and welcome back to the heathen vegan. An online mostly gluten-free vegan cooking channel where I show you guys how to make some great recipes that's good for you, that's good for the planet, takes a minimal amount of time to cook, and the ingredients themselves are fairly easy to get to. <laughs> that's a key point right there. Today I want to show you guys how to make something that's breakfast oriented. I want to show you guys how to make bacon cheese potato muffins. It's a, it's a recipe that I feel that could be, it's very versatile, it could be used any time of the day, but if you're going to have brunch or you have people over, or whatever the case may be, I feel as though this is going to be a really good recipe. They're really good. They don't take that long to make. It's not that complicated. Let's get on to the ingredients. You are going to need about two cups of gluten-free flour. Uh, I find that no matter what brand of gluten-free flour I use, if I don't season it, it's kind of on the bland side. So in here I put some salt and pepper, some garlic and onion powder. I also put, put basil and sweet marjoram in there, along with some smoked paprika. Each one of those measurements, with the, exception, with the exception of the salt and pepper, is about a teaspoon. So you're going to need about two cups of that. For this recipe, I'm going to use Energy Egg Replacer. You need one vegan egg replacer. You need one cup of soy milk, oat milk, cashew milk, almond milk. Just make sure it's a cup. Okay. One cup. One cup. You're also going to need a tablespoon of baking soda. You will need a half a cup of vegetable oil, half a teaspoon of salt. You will need roughly about a cup of shredded potatoes. And it's to a half a cup of some chopped up uh, vegetarian bacon. I'm using the light lamps bacon. And then you're going to need about a cup of shredded cheese. Now my favorite shredded cheese to use is well in your heart's farm cheese. So that's what I'm going to be using in this recipe. Now that we have gone through our ingredients, what we want to do is preheat our oven to 400. So after you get your oven on and it's preheating, get your muffin tins out. Make sure you spray them with some non cooking spray. I use canola. And then what you want to do is you're going to need two different bowls and a large bowl Take your dry ingredients, which would be your flour, your baking soda, and your half a teaspoon of salt. Give this a quick whisk, just so that the ingredients are mixed together. Set this aside, and now it's on to our wet ingredients. Take your half a cup of oil, your one cup of soy milk, and then your one vegan egg replacer. together until they're nice and blended. It's going to take about two minutes to get the wet ingredients blended together. After you do that, put your cheese in the wet ingredients along with your potatoes and your bacon. Give these guys a quick stir with like a rubber spatula, with like a rubber spatula or when I'm using a plastic spoon. Make sure it's nice and mixed in together, really nice. And then put it into your dry mixture bowl. From there, you're gonna mix it a little bit. You don't wanna over mix it. Just like a couple of quick mixes. You don't need a hand mixer or any of that, that type of stuff. Just enough so that the flour becomes incorporated with the wet mixture. You wanna do this gently. Once you have your both your dry mixture and your wet mixture completely incorporated together, you're just going to take it by the spoonful and you're going to put it into your muffin tins and you're going to want to just fill your muffin tin to about like three quarters of the way full. Press it together too. Yeah, and you'll do that, I mean, obviously for the remainder of the, of the tunes here. This smells really, really good too, by the way, guys. So I hope you get a chance to really try out this recipe. After we get these guys into the muffin tins, 
we're gonna bake them for about 20 minutes. Halfway, about five minutes into it, I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna spread some vegan butter on it so it gets a nice brown uh, coating on the top. And then 10 minutes into it, I'm gonna do it again and then leave it alone so that hopefully they rise. And then as they rise, they will also have a nice brown top to them. exactly 12 muffins so if you want to make like 24 just double the recipe or if you want to make less then cut the recipe in half if you only want to make six and dry them out cut the recipe in half I'm just gonna push these guys together so that while they're in the tin they have a nice even texture and hopefully as they rise which hopefully they will rise because I know sometimes with gluten-free flour that's like a that's like a hit or miss type of thing hopefully as they rise they'll be nice and sturdy and connected. Now we're gonna put them into the oven. Ow, I just burnt my fork so And I'm gonna set my timer for 20 minutes. <clears throat> and ta-da! Okay, the timer's up for 20 minutes. In 20 minutes, these guys should be done. Don't forget, five minutes into it, you got vegan butter, just, you know, dab some on top of them. Another 10 minutes into it, which would be 15 minutes into it, put some more on there, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll have some really good looking muffins.